<clears throat> There's an experiment taking place on Manhattan's Lower East Side. An innovative laboratory in one of the city's oldest communities. For centuries, people from around the world have made the Lower East Side their home. In this densely populated area, one group of architects, engineers, and designers are exploring a new open space. They're designing the world's first underground park. When you enter the low-line lab at the abandoned Essex Street Market, you first slide through Subway Symphony by musician James Murphy, also known as my bandmate. It's a sonic redesign of the tone you hear every time you pass through a subway turnstile. Then, a small version of what will eventually become the low line, a park the size of a football field situated in an old trolley terminal a short distance from the lab. The low line lab currently has 50 different species of mostly tropical plants from around the equator. There are over 3,000 individual plants growing and thriving in this windowless space. On the roof of the lab, you'll find new solar panel technology that make it possible to gather and disperse natural light to a completely dark environment. Moving mirrors track the motion of the sun and reflect its rays onto concentrators. The concentrators then reflect beams of light underground. The light travels through a network of tubes before being dispersed into the space, providing a subterranean-inspired habitat for flowers, vines, moss, herbs, and even vegetables to grow. In the low-line lab, a series of experiments are conducted in an environment that mimics what will become the actual low-line. Upon completion, the low-line will be a respite for the surrounding community and an attraction for visitors from all over the world. It will be a public space for education, science, technology, and innovation in the heart of the Lower East Side. <laughs>